Okay, just a quick update. Um, I've had this the, the nest fitted now for more than a month. Uh, it's been it's, it's been fine. It's been really good. It keeps uh, the house warm when it needs to and cool when it doesn't. Uh, it comes on and off as needed, as you would expect a thermostat to do. Um, has there been any improvements since my full review? My review may have seemed a bit negative, but I was being quite harsh with it as it's, it's uh, heating controls are sort of, you know, not any better than the, the Honeywell and I would still say that the Honeywell, you know, is pretty good at controlling your heat if you have a Honeywell. It's a pretty hard decision to make to update to a, a nest, it's not really clear cut because it won't do it much more for you. I mean, it, it, where it does where the nest does come into its own, really, it, it, it looks it looks great. <laughs> it looks really good. It's dead easy to adjust. It's really easy to program, and uh, I like that uh, far sight that it's got as well, where it automatically comes on when you walk by it, which is I find that it's really good. I, I, I quite like that. Um, the only things are. The, the usual we mentioned in the last review was things like there should be more information on the far sight screen and you know there's a, a few other things a wee few wee tweaks needed just to bring it into perfection really it still does that fire and over the temperature thing goes over by at least one degree um, when it's heating your house up um, and basically for me as well, I would like to see more of my usage statistics getting held because it only seems to hold 10 days worth and then they sort of drop off uh, into the ether and you never see them again. So basically you get a, an end of month report which I thought, oh that'll have the each day's usage but no it doesn't, just as a total I used 58 hours of heating in December, that's it, that's my, that's my report. That's the monthly reports. I imagine you sort of over the the course of a year you'll be building up that information, and you know you'll have a month to month statistics which we you could then compare year on year. But the daily information can be useful to you as well to see how you're using your heating within cold spells or specific weather types and that. So maybe you could tweak your house a bit better to actually bring down your, your heating usage which is something we all really want to do is to bring down your heating usage without going into discomfort really um, and that information would be useful for, for doing that but it seems to disappear after after about 10 days um, the, the, it, it goes so it'd be good to see that sort of being kept at least a bit longer, at least having a month's worth of statistics that you can have a look at. If you do not have a thermostat on your boiler, get one. The Nest is a great that is a great thermostat to choose. It looks fantastic and it works uh, works pretty well. Um, plus, it's sort of future proof as well. You know that will last. Uh, for years and the technology can sort of grow as well for a, for a while. If you've got a thermostat around, you know, a hundred pound mark or above, it's not going to do much more saving for you heating wise day to day. But what it will do is allow you to access stuff from uh, out with your home or even within your home. Sometimes if you're up the stairs and you're your thermostat is down the stairs it's quite easy just to knock a couple of degrees off the, the temperature just go oh, it's a wee bit warm in here I'll take a couple of degrees off it's easy to do that from an app whereas running down the stairs can be such an effort sometimes it just makes it that much easier to, to turn it off when you're overheating or turn it up when it's cold you know so it works both ways but it's, it's very useful what I would also say about the nests is uh, that makes it worth buying is the ease of programming. This thing's easy, 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 easy to program. Um, I really found it uh, ridiculously easy, and then you can copy bits. Not it's just it's just so uh, 
so much easier than this where you have to sit down and and and, and plan what times uh, it, it, there's quite a lot of effort involved in getting this one right once this is set up right it's great but there is a, a lot of work involved in the initial setup this when you're setting this this thing up it, it's really really easy um, uh, the nest is just no comparison really and the big screen makes it nice to to, to look at and to, to play around with and stuff uh, and to try different things so it's uh, the Nest is definitely, I would say, you know, the one to go for, especially if you've never used these before. These, these can be quite tricky. This is dead easy. It's really easy for somebody just who wants something to eat their house and just let it get on with its job. This is the one to go for. Admittedly, most of my points about the Nest, why you would want to buy it, are cosmetic, they really are. Why would you buy an iPhone? Because they look great and they work, you know. Why would you buy an S? Well, because it looks great and it works as well. A thermostat is in a prominent position in your house. You look at it every single day, you usually walk past it every single day. They're in your face. So, you know, having something nice to look at that sort of glows when you walk past and shows you information when you walk past, you know, it can show you the time when you walk past, whatever you want. Um, it's actually quite nice. It's nice. It's nice to have that, and it's nice to to, to, to be able to see what's going on in your house at that time, uh, heating wise. Um, and it looks great on the wall. It really looks. It looks really nice. Um, whereas these can just. I mean, these are just sort of box standard now. You know, it's like. It just uh, beige bits of plastic, so you know um, it's not to be sniffed at having something uh, decent on your wall. It's controlling your house, and it actually looks like it's controlling your house. Um, you know uh, uh, the heating side of it anyway. Um, it's, it's it's a good thing you have. I think uh, the Nest is very expensive. I would say it is a good thermostat buy one but if you're upgrading I would really think careful about it because basically your upgrading reasons are cosmetic and maybe be a bit of Wi-Fi if your um, thermostat is a cheap one and it, it runs a couple of degrees plus or minus your temperature so you get big swings and it makes your house uncomfortable this will certainly settle that down it's much better than that if you don't have any thermostat at all, definitely get yourself a thermostat. Um, it doesn't have to be a Nest, but I mean, the Nest is a nice option. It's a very, very nice option. Hope this helps you out in deciding what you want to buy. Cheers. Okay, so this is a... Uh, uh, Final, final update if you like. Um, I've just noticed that the Nest has had um, a, a software update last couple of days, and what's happening is it's now more responsive than the Honeywell, um, which is it's sort of addressed the problems that I first uh, highlighted in the, in the first review. No, it's it's getting a lot more stable um, when it's sitting at temperature and things. So it's a uh, yeah, it's you know that's probably one of the things I've been saying about the being Wi-Fi. It can be updated, it can be changed, it can be made better. Um, so you you know the product that you buy is not necessarily how it's going to stay uh, over its lifetime. Um, it, it, it can be changed and it can be improved so uh, and it has been um, so basically um, it's now a bit tighter than the Honeywell was uh, which is quite a change really from the, the, the first uh, review that I did so anybody looking to uh, upgrade to one of these things yeah I mean it's pretty good. There's no denying it. It is a good thermostat. 
and it looks great. So hopefully anybody watching this will help you. Thanks again.